ESPN presents College Basketball 85. From Cole Fieldhouse in College Park, Maryland, it's an ACC matchup as the North Carolina Tar Heels play the Maryland Terrapins. This game is brought to you by Chevrolet. For the ages, Lefty trying to play it down, saying it's just another game. Do you buy that? No, I don't buy it at all, Fred. I know how much of a competitor Lefty is, and I know how much of a competitor he is in the fact that he would love to beat Dean Smith. He's only been able to beat Dean nine times and has lost 27. I promise not to say that in the year for Lefty, but I know down deep he would love to get number 500 against North Carolina because this has been a special thing to him, beating North Carolina during his career. Two great competitors on the benches here tonight. Great players and starting lineup on both ball clubs. We've heard so much about them, but who do we look for here tonight? I think we're going to look for guys coming off the bench. On the side of North Carolina, Warren Morton. At 6'11", he's one of the most improved big people in America. On the other side for Maryland, I look for Jeff Atkins to be a real, real key. He's been playing outstanding basketball, getting a lot more minutes than earlier in the season. I think we got ourselves a very exciting night. Fred, there's electricity. This reminds me of an NCAA setting here tonight. They're passing out pom-poms. I'm excited, partner. Let's go to work. All right, let's do it. The Tar Heels and the Terrapins are set to tear it up here in College Park. We'll and welcome back, everyone, to Cole Field House. We're just about set to meet the starting lineups. Again, a lot of electricity being generated here. There's a sellout crowd is on hand, and they are very, very vocal in anticipation of this meeting between North Carolina and Maryland. There's always a lot of tension when these two teams meet, but the fact that Lefty Drizel going for win number 500 just adds to it tonight. Now we're set to meet the starting lineup. Let's join public address announcer John Wagner. The number 12 team in the country, the Tar Heels, the University of North Carolina, and the 19th ranked team in the country, the University of Maryland Terrapins. And now it is the starting lineup for North Carolina at forward, 6'10 sophomore from Kohler, Wisconsin, number 24, Joe Wolf. At forward from Maryland, 6'6 junior from Oak Hill, West Virginia, number 41, Tom Speedy Jones. At forward from North Carolina, 6'10 sophomore from Ashley, Pennsylvania, number 35, Dave Popson. Forward from Maryland, 6'8", junior from Landover, Maryland, number 34, Len Bias. At center for North Carolina, 6'11", junior, Black Mountain, North Carolina, number 42, Brad Doherty. At center for Maryland, 6'7", freshman from Temple Hills, Maryland, number 33, Derek Lewis. At guard for North Carolina, 6'3", junior from Jenks, Oklahoma, Number 25, Steve Hale. At guard for Maryland, 6'5", sophomore, Grimes from North Carolina, number three, Keith Gatlin. The North Carolina at guard, 6'3", sophomore, the Queens, New York, number 30, Kenny Smith. And at guard for Maryland, 6'8", senior from Largo, Maryland, number 24, Adrian Branch. North Carolina is coached by Mr. Dean Smith. Maryland is sitting here. We're going to have to check him. No, uh, there's something in there I need a, a lot. What? Pepsi. What? Pepsi. Ice cream. That ball to, to Branch and Bias. Somebody's got to do it. He, he's probably the best bet. Officials assigned for tonight's game. Gerald Donahue is the referee. The umpires are Dick Paparo and Hank Armstrong. The Terrapins in white will be going to the south goal in the first half of play. The Tar Heels in blue to the north goal. The players shake hands all the way around. Donahue between Bias and Doherty. Ball tapped to the Maryland bench. Gatlin tried to make the save, and apparently he did do it to Derek Lewis. So Maryland's in control of the ball. Carolina looking for the quick man-to-man -man matchup. Gatlin gets it across the timeline right side, and even now he walks it as I tell you that he brings it front court. Hash mark to Bias over on the left side. Steve Hale up in his face. Back it comes to Gatlin on the right. Dropped it to Lewis in the right corner. Tobias jump shot 17 feet. Well, short. Didn't get the roll, and the bounce is picked up by Dave Popson. He drops it to Kenny Smith. The Tar Heels head to the north goal here at Cole Field House, and it's a sold-out capacity crowd watching from this arena, which is twice hosted NCAA championship game. Smith drops it to Wolf off the hail. Couldn't get off the jump shot. Branch was on him. Feet dirty jumper from uh, about five feet away on the left. Puts Carolina up by 2-0 score here in the first 48 seconds of play. 
Gatlin across the timeline, right side. Carolina man-to-man matchup. Smith is on Gatlin. Wolf has got the early assignment on Bias, and Steve Hale has Grant. Hobson has uh, Speedy Jones, and Brad Darty has Derek Lewis. Adrian Grant from 18 feet. Left-handed shot off the glass. Missed it badly on the left. Kenny Smith comes away with it in the gallop, going front court on the right. Picked up his dribble, tried to bounce it low to Popson. Out of bounds off Gatlin. It belongs to the heel. Already Terry Long looks lost defensively. That's been the problem with the big 6'8 guy in the middle from Maryland. He uh, loses his man at times, and that's how Brad Darty got that easy bucket a minute ago. Derek Lewis, of course, manning the middle for the Sheriffin. Speedy Jones and Lynn Bias along that front line. Long outside shot by Hale is no good. Recovered by Joe Wolf. Smith off the Hale. Bias with a size advantage moving on him. Popson foul line off the back of the rim. No good. Bias with a rebound. You heard Dean Smith say Popson's parents are here along with a number of friends from Ashley, Pennsylvania. Not that far away from his hometown, so Dave drew the start tonight. Gettlin from out on the left is tied it at 2-all. Keith Gettlin from Grimesland, North Carolina, out of D.H. Conley High School. Puts the Terps on the board with 18-12 left to play in the first half. Smith across the timeline. Maryland man-to-man defense. The hail at the right wing. Alley-oop off the glass. Caught Popson. Back up. Trips to the ball by Gatlin. Here come the Terps on the run. Gatlin down on the right side. Smith getting back will make him pick up the dribble. Goes to Bias. Bias on the drive. Jordy there. Faking Wolf up for the shot off the glass. And it's 4-2 in favor of Maryland. Lynn Bias, who had 23 points in the game at Chapel Hill. Cross short pass to Hale, driving into the lane, feeds back to Wolf. Jumper 15 feet good, and it's 4 4. As Joe Wolf, averaging 9.3 points of all game, picks up his first field goal. Final score reported from down Clemson. Clemson has beaten Wake Forest 80 to 65. More details on that one coming at halftime. Gatlin, Tobias on the left wing in front of the Tario bench, gets it back. Branch now they drop it to Tom Speedy Jones in the right corner. Back it comes now to Branch. Off to Bias. Over to Gatlin. Long outside shot is good. Keith Gatlin has hit two for two in the early going, and it's six to four in favor of Maryland with 17-08 left to play of the first half. Smith across the timeline, hitting Darty, holds high for left wing. The Wolf comes back to Darty. Darty inside to Popson. Popson turns off the glass. Whistle foul is on Gatlin of Maryland. It'll be number one on the 6-5 sophomore, his first. And it'll be the first team foul against Maryland. Lefty Drizel tonight trying to get a 20th win season at Maryland for the 10th time in his 16 years as Popson pulls the strike to shoot two. Good to see Dave Popson get the start tonight, Woody. He kind of deserves it by virtue of the fact that he hit that jumper that put Carolina ahead down on January the 9th. What a clutch shot with seven seconds left to go Carolina put uh, to put Carolina in the lead. Popson over one from the field, knocks in his first free throw, six to five in favor of Maryland. Popson will have a chance to tie the ball game for a second time and does as it's good so David Popson with two and the ball is kicked out of bounds by Hale on the attempted inbound play it'll still belong to Maryland good attempt at the steal Branch was kind of loafing back to the line and uh, Steve Hale made a good move to try to uh, steal that ball away on the inbound inbounds against zone pressure Gatlin takes it coast to coast jump shot is no good Darty with a board covered inside away with it off to Smith to Hale faking Lewis up off the glass good Steve Hale nice pump fake got Derek Lewis hanging in the air and then Steve Hale banked it off the glass he's one of two here in the early going for an eight to six Carolina lead with 1635 to play Dario's uh, back in the lane trying to shut off Maryland inside but uh, trying to match up as much as possible out of the zone Lewis from just behind the foul line about 17 feet away gets his first field goal and it's tied at eight 16 20 left to play in the first half score's been tied at four at six and now at eight Popson to Smith, top of the circle. Tar Heels working to the north goal at Cole Field out over the hill on the right. To Popson, turn around, partially blocked. Good block, says the official, and we go have a whistle as the ball is knocked over the end line out of bounds. Popson and Branch were strapping for it, and Branch picks up the personal foul. It's his first, and it'll be the second team foul against Maryland. Derek Lewis having some trouble with uh, Brad Darty inside. I called him long a minute ago. I met Derek Lewis, as you mentioned, Woody, and uh, he has quite an advantage. Brad Darty does about four inches there. Inbounds to Warren Martin, all the way off the glass. No good. Darty tapping it to keep it alive and up for the basket. Darty with two field goals, and it's 10 8 Carolina. Martin missing the fall away shot from in the lane, but Darty now two of two from the field, followed up nicely on the left side. 15 50 left to play in the first half. Gatlin to Branch. Tario packed back in the zone. Comes to Bias deep in the right corner. Now to Branch. One dribble, then over to Gatlin on the left side. To Branch. Hale won't let him get the jumper off. Here's Bias shooting over Darty and scoring. 
Pius, who really concentrated on his outside shot last year, is two for three in the early going, and it's tied for yet a fourth time at 10-10 with 15 and a half minutes left to play. Lucky Drizel up wanting his defense back in the lane. Warren Martin, one dribble right of the lane. Can't get the shot away. Comes to Kenny Smith, deep in the corner. One dribble back toward the circle to Steve Hale on the drive. Jumpers up from 10 feet in the lane. Steve Hale with his second field goal. He's two of three, and it's 12-10 Carolina with 15-11 to go in the first half. Pass coming down the side to Speedy Jones, the Oak Hill West Virginia product. Gives it back out front to Bias baseline. Turn around off the baseline. Oh, Bias is cooking. He is three of four here for six quick points in this ball game. He had 16 of his 23 points in the first half in that early January game at Chapel Hill. Tied at 12. Hale goes to Darty right baseline to Martin. Wasn't expecting it. Deflected outside and then knocked out of bounds by Gatlin. It'll still belong to Carolina. And right now, these teams are going to get a break in the action, and we're right where we started. The other team had 78. Both teams shot 60% in the first half, better than 50% in the second half. Maryland 31 of 53 from the field, 12 of 22 at the free throw line. Carolina was 32 of 52 from the field, 11 of 20 from the free throw line. Tar Heels had a slight edge on the boards, but those numbers of possessions really show you that uh, everything was just about even. You know, the thing about Len Bias that's really, I think, impressive is the fact not only he leads the team in scoring, but also in rebounding. Martin drops it to Smith. Carolina with possession of the ball. It's been tied six times. We're at 12 right now. The latest deadlock. Smith right of the circle. Maryland man-to-man -man comes to Darty. Inside it goes to Martin. Threw it by him. It hit the basket support underneath the glass. And Martin has had two passes. One he was not looking for. A second one is zipped right through his hands. And it's almost as if Martin needs to tune his concentration a little bit keener. Good screen by Steve Hale. It set him free. If he could have just caught the ball, he would have had a sure basket. Gatlin to Branch over on the right wing. Now back to Gatlin. Deep corner to Bias. Double team. Comes cross court to Branch. Steve Hale on him quickly. Can't get it. Gatlin back to Branch. He'll jump, shoot over Hale, and it's good. Adrian Branch, that's his first field goal of the game. He's one for two, and it's 14 to 12. Maryland back in front. 14.05 left to play in the first half. Kenny Smith looking inside the Maryland zone now as he sets the offense. Lefty Brazil. In his 25th year as a head coach, standing at the sideline, talking to his team. Smith to Hale. High lob to Martin. Back out front to Smith. Jumper from 18 feet. Got it. And it's tied at 14. We've been knotted seven times. Kenny Smith gets his first field goal. Smith came in trailing Brad Doherty in the scoring parade for Carolina with a 12.7 average. Doherty is averaging 16.9 the Tar Heel zone now. Maryland with it on the perimeter. Down in the right corner to Bias. Inside to Lewis. Knocked away. Martin recovered. Darty threw it away to Smith and it got by him deep into the backcourt. Recovered Speedy Jones for Maryland. Picked up by Gatlin. Turnovers thus far. Carolina with three. Maryland with one. Here's Bias driving the baseline. Dumps it away to Jones. Jones' short jumper is no good. They battle for it on the glass and Darty's down with a rebound. And we get a whistle and a foul, I believe, has been called on Lewis on the rebound. Curtis Hunter getting ready to come in the ball game for Carolina. Brad Darty had good position. Lewis just trying to come across the top and uh, hack Brad on the top of the head there. Hank Armstrong picking up the call. The game now has been tied at every even point interval, Woody. Darty with three rebounds uh, so far in the ball game. They have not yet put the foul uh, up on the board as to whether or not they called it, but I thought it was on Lewis. Hunter in the lineup now for Maryland. That foul on Lewis was his first. It'll be the third team foul against Maryland. Steve Hale, one dribble into the lane. Dumps it back out to Kenny Smith. Smith on the fake, drops it off to Hale. Hale faking Jones. He'll use the glass, and it's no good. Tapped around inside, knocked to Martin. He turns, block, and they'll call it a good block by Maryland. I believe it was Speedy Jones. Tom Speedy Jones. The 6'6 junior from Oak Hill, West Virginia, came to Maryland by way of Allegheny Community College who got the hand on it. But don't be surprised if Jarek Lewis, the Temple Hill, Maryland freshman, gets his hand on a lot of blocks tonight. Hook in the lane by Brad Doherty was good, but it won't count the foul coming before the shot. Gerald Donahue on the call, and I believe it is going to be on Terry Long, who's in the ballgame now for Maryland. Long picks up his first foul. He's a 6'8 sophomore from Richmond, Virginia. Started early, then got beat out by Derek Lewis. Came back into the starting lineup in the last couple of games. Inside from Hale to Martin, up for the short shot. No good, tapped up, no basket, and the foul's on Hunter of Carolina. It'll be number one on the Durham sophomore in the first team foul against the Tar Heels. Maryland gets it out of bounds. Twelve and a half minutes to play in the first half. 
and we're tied at 14. Maryland's do a better, doing a better job of keeping Warren Martin away from the basket than anybody we've seen in recent weeks, Woody. They're kind of stuffing two or three guys in between him and the basket, and these guys can leap. Warren's going to have to get up a little higher. Maryland with control of the ball. Branch to Bias, now to Gatlin over on the right side. Goes to Jones, his jump shot foul line, and it's 16-14 in favor of Maryland. That's Jones' first basket and two attempts. Long front court pass to Hunter, faking long. He couldn't get the shot away to Kenny Smith. His jumper bounces high, no good. Capella, no good. Hunter trying to run it down in the corner. Saved it, got it to Kenny Smith. Smith, a couple of dribbles, back to Hunter. Jump shot, 15 feet, too strong. Air ball, loose in the lane, recovered by Bias for Maryland. Here come the Terps, quickly front court, off to Adrian Branch, across the timeline, drops to Jones, driving on Hunter, jump shot is no good. Brad darty has got the rebound, and the push has been called on Curtis Hunter. It's his second personal foul. I believe they're going to call a two-shot foul for an undercut. The push coming while Jones was in the act of shooting, so Jones will indeed get a couple of free throws with 11.49 left to play in the first half. I guess that's right. They, he was in the act of shooting. That's why he's getting the two shots, but he did knock his legs out from under him, Woody. Curtis was trying to get position on him as he was coming across the top, and his legs just flew out from underneath him, so he's going to get a couple at the line. In the early going, Carolina doing a good job of boxing Maryland out on the boards. A 9-3 lead in rebounding. Jones, who shoots 77% at the line, and... He gives Maryland a 17-14 lead, and that's the Terrapins' biggest advantage of the first half. Jones had 7.5 rebounds in the first meeting between these two teams. He'll have a chance here for his fourth point. And it's good. 18-14 in favor of Maryland, and right now an official timeout. Taking a cold field house in College Park. So a timeout on the floor, 11.49 to go in the first half. It's Maryland, 18. Carolina Terrapins with a four-point lead. Now Carolina shooting has dropped just a bit. They're down to 40% at 6 of 15. Both teams are 2 of 2 from the line. Maryland shooting from the floor, 8 of 12. They're still shooting at a 67% clip. Carolina has out-rebounded Maryland, however, 9 to 3. An interesting point that uh, Steve Welton, our statistician, points out, Woody. Lynn Bias has all three rebounds. We talked about his rebounding ability earlier at 6'8". He's leading this team, and he's done a super job uh, doing that. Early in the year, Lefty Grizzell had gone to Bias and said, we need your help on the boards, and he's really responded to that. Well, I saw him sweeping up before the game started, and he plays in the pep band during the timeouts <laughs> and, uh, you know, sells drinks at halftime. The guy does everything. 18-14, Maryland on top, Carolina with the ball. Steve Hale. Inside the hash mark on the left, back to Kenny Smith on the right. Steve Atkins is our Jeff Atkins, brother, is coming the ball game now for Maryland, and Atkins knocks the ball away from Martin. Looks like he might have got him across the top of the hand and slapping it away, but not enough to get a foul called. Inside to Long. Long's layup is no good. He follows off the glass. Good. 20 to 14 in favor of Maryland. Terry Long, the Richmond sophomore, making his presence felt inside. 11-10 to play. Maryland with its biggest lead as Brad Darty's getting ready to come back, but one final word with Dean Smith. Here's Steve Hale, top of the circle, over to Kenny Smith, looking low for Wolf, pushes it now to Martin. Now off to Hunter. Hunter coming to the lane, can't get through to Hale on the right sideline. Maryland's really got it clogged up inside. Joe Wolf comes right of the circle to Steve Hale. Off to Kenny Smith. Smith against uh, Jeff Atkins to Curtis Hunter. Jump shot 15 feet. A little too flat off the back of the rim, rebounded by Atkins. Car Heels are not shooting well at all at the moment. Atkins across the timeline. The Martinsville senior works to the middle now, gives it to Bias. Down the right sideline, it goes to Branch. Carolina packed back in in the uh, matchup defense. Branch bounces it low to Long, or to Speedy Jones, rather. Gets it right back. Long's working the left side of the lane. Jones on the right. Now it's back out front to Atkins. With Atkins coming in, it takes over the point. Here's Bias, jump shot, would not go down, and Warren Martin's got the board covered up. When the shot's going up on the glass for Maryland, it almost seems that everybody is releasing to get back, and it's leaving Carolina all alone underneath. Martin, high lob to Wolf. Nice catch of the ball by Joe. Turn around, jump shot, no good. Martin's got the rebound. One dribble, then he give it back to Wolf. Wolf turns baseline, hooked it off the glass, no good. Martin had it, lost it. Branch trying for the save, and went out of bounds. Dick Preparo says off Maryland. It'll still belong to Carolina. Brad Darty, the junior from Black Mountain, North Carolina. And Dave Popson, the sophomore from Ashley, Pennsylvania, return for the heels as Curtis Hunter and Warren Martin go out. And that's the least effective stretch, I think, that Warren Martin's had in a long time for Carolina. Joe Wolf coming out of the right corner against Long. Drops it to Hill, top of the circle. Inside Darty, jump hook in the lane is good by Brad Darty. Darty now with six points, leading the Tar Heels scoring. He's three of three from the field here in the first ten and a half minutes of play. Across the timeline is Atkins. Carolina back in its 1-3-1 matchup zone. 20-16, Maryland by four to Atkins on the right. Back to Branch. 
Branch comes right back to Atkins with it. Looks right corner, gives it to Bias right there. He looked inside quickly to Long, wouldn't give it to him. Back to Atkins, to Branch. One dribble, then he whips it over to Jones on the left side. Back it comes to Branch. Kenny Smith's got hands all up in his face. Bias comes to the high post. Pass goes to Atkins. Bias makes one turn, drives lane, 10-foot jumper, good! 22 to 16, Lynn Bias with eight points here in the first half. Bias thus far, according to Steve Wetland, our statistician, four of six from the field. He's having another great game. He leads the ACC in scoring with a 20-point per game average. Steve Hale comes to Joe Wolf deep in the left corner. Out of Popson. Popson gives it quickly on the right side to Smith. Carolina looking at a six-point deficit inside to Darty. Knocked away. Terry Long, it'll still belong to Carolina. You know, Bias earlier this year had his uh, career high of 30 points while getting 13 rebounds against Villanova. And Rolly Massimino, the Wildcat coach, said after the game, nobody gets 30 points against us. But Bias did. He's a strong candidate, ACC Player of the Year, and for a lot of All-America teams. Carolina controls off to Steve Hale. Gives it to Joe Wolf. Carolina with Wolf well out now to Smith on the left side. One dribble, top of the circle. Now to Steve Hale. Penetrating. Knocked away Atkins. Ball loose on the floor. Recovered by us. Away to Branch. Pops and trying to catch up. And Branch with a flying dunk. And it is 24 to 16. Maryland's biggest lead of eight points as Branch is two of three from the field. 8.20 left to play in the first half. Boy, Maryland is really cooking right now, and this partisan Terrapin crowd is loving it. Wolf will quiet him a little bit with a jump shot from eight feet down the left baseline. His second field goal, 24 to 18. 8.10 left to play in the first half. Branch drops to Jones in the left corner, gets it right back now to Atkins. Hale on him, comes to Bias. Carolina's trying to use size now on Bias. Atkins from well out, no good. Tap follow, good by Terry Long in the lane. Long reaching back to tap it when it looked as if uh, Joe Wolf had it to by all rights, and it's 26-18. Wolf down the right sideline, Maryland man-to-man. Wolf comes in one dribble, then tried to bounce it to Darty right into the hands of Terry Long on the bounce. To Branch, 26-18. Maryland could go up by 10 here. Bias' jump shot, no good, an air ball. Bias goes to the floor. Kenny Smith with a rebound on the left side, quickly pedaling front court. Gives it to Steve Hale. Drive, dumps it. Joe Wolf, jump shot, 12 feet, too strong. Bounced over Popson's head, recovered Atkins in the corner. Left, he says, slow it down, and Atkins immediately slows to a walk. 26-18, Maryland on top by eight with 7.15 left to play in the half. We'll go back to 1983 in our magic moment at halftime on the Jim Braddock three-pointer and Michael Jordan block. Adrian Branch has just sent Maryland up by 10 at 28-18 from in the lane. Branch now with six points. Bias with eight, Branch with six, Long with four. Those are the Maryland scoring leaders. We're under seven minutes to play in the first half from College Park. Inside, Popson layup off the glass is good. Great pass by Brad Doherty, the wide open Popson. Popson now with four and it's 28 to 20. Atkins across the timeline, looking to Branch. Apparently Adrian asking for the ball and gets it on the bounce. He works against Hale, right of the circle. Whips it around Hale over to Speedy Jones. Jones holds it high, bounces low to Bias. Jump shot over Wolf. Rimmed out, wouldn't go. Hale with a rebound in the lane. Carolina looking quickly front court, but Hale will get it front court on his own dribble. Now drops it to Kenny Smith. Goes to Joe Wolf over on the right. Back to Dave Pops in a step behind the foul line. One dribble to the right, then drops it off to Wolf in the corner. Now it comes to Hale. Lefty Drizel talking to his defense. To Pops and he'll use the glass. It's good, and he's fouled by Log. Nice offensive move by Pops, and he had worked free on the weak side to the left. Got the pass, leaned in with his body. Not only got his second field goal of the game and his sixth point, but draws Terry Long's second personal foul and the fourth team foul against Maryland. 28-22, A couple of nice plays by Dave Pops and kind of being in the right right place at the right time in a whole lot you know Carolina's kind of the situation they were in on Sunday afternoon Maryland's red hot they're hitting almost everything they're throwing up there Carolina's still staying in the ball game but uh, the Tar Heels need to pick up the shooting just a bit the transition game is not there Maryland's doing a very good job of getting back as you mentioned Woody Carolina not able to get that transition game going pops it is two of three from the field is at all three of his free throws an official timeout is called at Maryland so a timeout on the floor 615 to play in the first half the score Terp, Got a little drought going there for a few minutes, and Maryland took advantage of it. Carolina now trailing five points, 28 to 23, with 6:15, and what has been a pretty quick first half. Carolina shooting is uh, off just a bit now from what they were shooting in the first 10 minutes of the game. They're 10 of 23. That's about 43 percent. For Maryland, 13 of 22, right at 59 percent. So. Uh, both teams, uh, or rather Maryland, continues their uh, consistent shooting well throughout the first half. 
Six minutes, 15 seconds left to play here in the first half. Already over tonight, Clemson has beaten Wake Forest 80-65 in Clemson. Duke over Stetson 94-51 in Durham. And State over Maryland Eastern Shore 90-51 in Raleigh. Maryland will have the ball out of bounds. Tar Heels come with a 2-2-1 zone press. Full court inbounds to Gatlin from Lewis. Gatlin across the timeline, works to the hash mark, left sideline in front of the Tar Heel bench. Comes back, caught in the double team. Got it to Lewis. Passes Bias. Bias drives baseline. Knocks Darty down. No foul on the play. Carolina coaches asking why not. Pass back around the perimeter to Lewis in the right corner. Back to Atkins. Now it comes to Gatlin out front. 5.55 to play in the half. 28-23. Maryland leading by five. Dave Lebo, the coach and father of Carolina recruit Jeff Lebo, joins Jim Hefner at halftime. Stay tuned for that. Gary Long, double teamed at the baseline, back out front to Gatlin. Gatlin moving right of the circle, turns, goes to his left now. Now passes inside to Long. Long from underneath, tried a reverse layup that wouldn't go. Warren Martin with the outlet pass to Kenny Smith on the left side. Smith quickly front court, 15-foot jump shot is good, and it's 28 to 25. The Heels have run off seven unanswered points now as Smith is two of three from the field. Maryland had a 10-point lead just about two minutes ago at 28 to 18. Atkins coming to Gatlin, now to Bias. Lynn playing with his shirt tail out already here in the first 15 minutes of this one. To Gatlin, back to Bias on the right. To Lewis, bounced it low to Long. Stripped to the ball by Curtis Hunter, but it got away from Curtis over the inline out of bounds. Buzz Peterson, the Asheville senior, makes his first appearance for Carolina. Adrian Branch is coming back for Maryland. He'll come for Kerry Long. And going out for Carolina now for a breather is Steve Hale. Underneath, Maryland does just about everything they possibly can setting picks, trying to free uh, Bias available down on the baseline for about a 15-foot jumper, and it's been working a little bit earlier in the game. Carolina now responding a little better. He's not getting those shots he was getting earlier. Jump pass, Gatlin to Branch, almost threw it away. The crowd oohed and out a bit on that one. Carolyn right back to the attack. Gatlin right of the circle to Atkins. Jump shot, right corner off the front of the rim, no good. Uh, Hunter will chase down the rebound. Maryland's getting one shot. If it doesn't go, that's it. Smith down to Peterson, deep in the right corner. In the lane to Martin. Makes the move, up for the shot. No basket, and they're going to call the offensive foul on Warren Martin. Martin will pick up his first personal foul. That'll be the third team foul against Carolina. 28 to 25, possession goes back to Maryland. And on the turnovers uh, thus far, Carolina now with seven, and Maryland has committed but one. Dean Smith just stood up and told Warren Martin, you did exactly what you were supposed to do. I disagree with the call. Here's Atkins at the lane. 13-foot jump shot. Good. 30 to 25. Jeff Atkins from Martinsville scoring for the Tar Heels. He's one of three here in the first half. 450 left to play in the first 20 minutes of action. Kenny Smith across the timeline. Gives it now to Warren Martin at the right wing. Bias dropping well off. Comes to Peterson. Bias not expecting Martin to shoot from well out there. And he's pretty right. Smith to Hunter. Knocked down in the lane is Darty. No foul on the play. Now comes to Martin over to Curtis Hunter. Hunter drives baseline. Drops it back to Darty. Into the lane. Stripped to the ball. And we get a whistle. And the foul has been called on Derek Lewis of Maryland. That will be number two on the Temple Hill Maryland freshman who has become renowned already as a freshman for his shot blocking. But that time he's charged with a foul and trying to knock the ball away down low. It's his second, fifth team foul. Henry will have reports on that game at halftime, but that's kind of interesting that Wake Forest loses tonight at Clemson. It ties those two teams at four and six at ACC play. Merrill, Wake Forest has now lost three in a row, five of its last six conference games. To the line is Brad Doherty, and the Maryland crowd, of course, doesn't like the call against Derek Lewis. Well, they don't think that, not only that they didn't like the call, they don't think that he should be shooting. And Lefty Brazil's leading the uh, booze over there. Brad makes his first one. It, it's probably questionable whether or not Brad was in the act of shooting, but uh, I think it was Dick Paparo or possibly Gerald Donahue. He wasn't in the act of shooting. Well, they thought he was going up with it when the ball was knocked loose. Brad's next free throw is good. It is 30 to 27. Darty now with eight first half points for Carolina. Leads to Tario scoring. He's perfect from the field and from the line. 30-27 with four minutes to play in the half. Gatlin gives it to Atkins. Carolina with a trap now in the midcourt area. Atkins almost took a step with it. To Lewis, now to Bias, comes in out of the left corner. In the air, double clutched it. Tapped by uh, Grant, controlled by Carolina. Hale's got it. He waits for Branch to get by, and he'll go front court. Right through the bright red center jump circle. Smith to Martin and Bias. Coming over Martin's back. 
to try to knock it away. And to be quite honest with you, that was a pretty foolish foul on the part of Pius. The only foolish thing I've seen him do thus far. And we played just under over 16 minutes here at Cole Fieldhouse tonight. His first six-team foul. Carolina gets it out of bounds. But right now, an official timeout has been called. 3.41 to play in the first half. And with timeout on the floor, the score, Maryland 30. Maryland, a very important ACC game going on right now. The Maryland Terrapins leading the Tar Heels 30 to 27. Carolina's out rebounding Maryland 16 to 7. One of the big reasons they're back in it after hitting a uh, scoring drought of over four minutes. Another reason is Lenny Bias. He has now missed his last three shots. He came out red hot. He's four of nine for the game. But Woody, earlier in the ball game, they were doing some things underneath with Lewis and Long to uh, kind of free him up. Even though he's amazing how he can shoot with two guys hanging on him, he was getting some perimeter shots, and now Carolina's reacting to it a little better. And uh, during that stretch of time that Carolina's done that defensive uh, changing, they've gotten back in the ball game. Carolina will have the ball out of bounds. Smith gets it into Hale along the left sideline. Maryland in the... 2-3 zone. Peterson top of the circle. Now it comes to Smith over on the right side. Kenny's dribble will work him across the top of the circle. Goes back to the right. Bounce pass to Hale. Hale backs toward the sideline with one dribble. Then to Smith. Pushes it away to Peterson. Peterson looked inside. One dribble. He'll take the jump shot. It bounced high. No good. Tapped off the glass as they battle for it. Bias out with a rebound. 30-27. Maryland with the lead. And now the ball with 3.15 to play in the first half. Gatlin across the timeline for Maryland. Works inside the hash mark on the right against Kenny Smith. Picks him up. Bounces him out of branch. Hails on him. And Carolina's man-to-man. Comes back to Gatlin. Gatlin looks inside. One dribble, then drops it to Branch in the right corner. He'll drive on Hale. Puts it up. Off the front of the rim. No good. Hale's got the rebound. Here come the Tar Heels. A chance to get within one. Kenny Smith pulls up from 15 feet. Jump shot is no good. Tap ball is good by Martin. Lefty Drizel wants interference. Goal tending. Whatever. He won't get it. Warren Martin on the tap in, and it's 30 to 29. Carolina has come from 10 down to get within one. That's Martin's first shot of the night in four attempts. First basket of the night in four shots. I should explain it a little more clearly for you. Branch, Sadkins, got a Gatlin over on the left side. Carolina in the 1-3-1 zone, packed back in. Branch jump shot off the right baseline. I believe Martin got a hand on it, rebounded by us. He puts it up behind the glass and scores. Three men on him. He was behind the glass along the right baseline, and he's got 10 points. 32-29. Maryland back in front by three. Peterson left side to Smith. Now to Martin, top of the circle. One dribble. Lobbed it to Darty. Caught it coming off the glass and lays it up good. Brad actually got help then as the ball hit the bottom part of the uh, backboard and bounded right to him. He is four of four from the field. Ten first half points. 32-31. Maryland by one. Atkins, left side. Now to Branch. Drops it baseline to Derek Lewis. Lewis goes up the left sideline. Now goes inside to Bias. Turns around. Ten feet. Wouldn't go down. Peterson with a rebound on the right side. Bias is now four of ten in the first half. Peterson bounces to Kenny Smith deep in the right corner. Comes back now to uh, Martin. Now over to Buzz Peterson. Jump shot. For left corner is good. And Carolina takes the lead at 33 to 32. Peterson one of two has set Carolina into the lead, I believe. Maybe what? For the first time in the ball first game? First time Carolina's led, Woody. Peterson with his first field goal of the game, and we've got a minute 20 to play in the half. Branch from Gatlin. Jump shot. Bounces long. No good. Battle inside. Hale got away with a bump on Bias off to Kenny Smith. Drops it back to Brad Darty, and he's caught by Jeff Atkins coming down the lane, but held up so he would not injure himself on the basket support. Foul then to stop. And uh, he wanted to make sure that he grabbed Brad to keep him from getting himself hurt. And that'll be then the foul number one on Atkins and the seventh team foul. Brad's going to shoot two anyway. He's a perfect two of two at the line. I don't know what Lefty was complaining about, but he didn't like something. He might have thought that uh, Steve Hale may have caused a foul to get that rebound down there. But he almost ran out of the court and grabbed Gerald Donahue. You know, he went a couple of years without getting a technical foul. And Woody, this year he's already gotten three. He got one in the uh, game against Duke on Saturday. So Lefty may not only get his... Uh, be making an attempt at his 500th win, but also his fourth technical of the season tonight. Well, quite honestly, it did look like Hale got away with a bump of bias coming away with a rebound. Darty makes his free throw as Wolf is getting set to come in the ball game. It's 34 to 32. Car heels by two. Darty now with uh, 11 points in the ball game and a chance to get 12. He came in averaging 16-9, which is the seventh best scoring average in the ACC. He's got it. And right now, Joe Wolf will come in to replace him, the sophomore from Kohler, Wisconsin. Darty, a perfect first half thus far. Four of four from the field, four of four from the line. And his rebound totals thus far for the Tar Heels. He's got three of those. 
102, 101. One minute left to go in the first half. Atkins to Jones. Now comes back to Atkins. Over to Gatlin. Carolina back in the zone. To Gatlin. Now to Branch. Deep in the right corner. Back to Gatlin. Top of the circle to Branch. Jump shot. 20 feet on the right. No good. Atkins with a rebound. Ball not close. Recovered Joe Wolf. Wolf almost had Branch reach in and stick a hand on him. And now Dean Smith is quickly calling four corners from the bench now for one shot for the Tar Heels. And immediately they go to four corners. Ranzino Smith, the Chapel Hill freshman, in the ball game and handling it. And Dean Smith wants to get Kenny Smith back in there now because I don't think Ranzino is very familiar with being a ball handler in the four corners. Steve Hale handling in the midcourt area with 24 seconds left. Carolina leading 35-32. We're coming to the end of the first half in College Park, Maryland. Carolina trailed earlier at the 7:09 mark by 10 points at 28 to 18. Steve Hale, midcourt area, clocks at 9, 8, 7. Here's Hale off to Ranzino Smith. Out of the right corner, would not go down. Ball knocked to the corner, got out of bounds with two seconds left. And it belongs to Maryland, says Gerald Donahue. Warren Martin will re-enter the lineup along with Kenny Smith and Brad Doherty. Lynn Bias is going to come back for the Terps. And uh, the Terps might try a go for broke here. play here, Henry. Actually, the clock's down to one second before the Maryland timekeeper could get it stopped. I believe Lynn Bias can do almost anything. They may try to throw this one down. Let him try to tap it in. How about flying through the air? Long pass down to the end. Caught. Falling out of bounds. Atkins, he tried to push it up, but he was behind the glass. It would not have counted had it gone in. They changed that rule a couple of years ago. That Southern Cal player going out of bounds one night. Threw it back in. The darn thing went over the top of the backboard in. And they said if it comes in like that again, it'll be out of bounds. Well, the heels recover from... Rebound in Maryland, 20 to 9. They've really been very aggressive on the boards, but they have that kind of size. Maryland is not a great, great rebounding team. They really play without a legitimate center. In all fairness, the lefty. They play people across the front that are what we call big guys. In the first half. Ready to get the second fi and final 20 minutes to play. Second half, final 20 minutes. Carolina controlling the ball, and the Heels have got a 35-32 lead. Carolina moving to the south goal here in the final half of play at Cole Field House. Carolina's come back with its starting lineup of Popson, Darty, Wolf, Smith, and Hale. Maryland's got Gatlin, Branch, Bias, Lewis, and uh, blocked inside by Lewis and Jones in the lineup. Lewis comes up with a block. I told you he came into the game earlier with 76 block shots to his credit, and that time he rejected Brad Doherty. So Maryland got a chance now to get within one. Branch drops it off to Gatlin. Jump shot off the baseline. Bounds high, no good. Tap follow, no good. And the foul has been called on Maryland's Derek Lewis. So the foul on Lewis will be number three on the Temple Hill Maryland freshman. Coming with 19-24 left to play in the ball game, and it'll be the first team foul of the second half against the Turks. You know, Woody, I think one of the keys for Maryland is to get Adrian Branch in the little into the flow of the game. He had three field goals in the first half. He's only three of eight. One of those was a breakaway slam dunk on a good feed from Bias. So Branch has to be a little more active in the second half for the Terrapin. Pops into Hale over to Smith. Tried to lob it inside to Darty. Deflected. Nice catch of the ball. Darty lays it up and he's fouled by Lynn Bias. I just can't describe what a great catch of the basketball that was by Darty. Maintaining his concentration as the looping pass inside Henry was deflected by a Maryland player. Darty still made the catch of it. He's five of five at the, from the field now. He'll have a chance for the three-point play. Lynn Bias has picked up his second foul, second Maryland team foul, and if he knocks this one in, he'll be perfect at the line. Well, he's had some great games this year. I don't think we've seen him play better, though. Very alert tonight, playing a great game, and he gets it. He's 5 of 5 from the floor and the field. 15 points. The Tar Heels now are 8 of 8 as a team from the field. You'll remember they're coming off a perfect 13 for 13 performance at LSU on Sunday. Carolina's biggest lead, 38 to 32. Inside it goes to Jones. He turns from 15 feet. Shots no good. Darty tapping it to keep it alive. Knocks it away to Steve Hale. Hale angles toward the middle. Right down the middle he goes. Knocked away from behind by Branch. Recovered Gatlin. Here go the Terps on the run now. Lead bounce pass to Jones. Driving in. Lays it up and it's an offensive foul on Speedy Jones. Darty on top of everything else he's doing. Henry Hinton got back down the floor. Got his defensive position and got fouled by Tom Jones on the drive. Well, very heads-up defense by Brad Darty. Jones was determined. You could see it. He was determined to try to take that in and slam it. He got the feed from Gatlin on the left side. He took it inside and just uh, 
bullied his way through, but Brad Darty, rather than try to challenge him, got good defensive position and drew the charge. Thompson whips it over to Smith, deflected. Gatlin Smith recovered right wing for the Tar Heels to Brad Darty. Darty top of the circle goes to Joe Wolf. He works against Bias. Comes out front now to Hale. Over to Kenny Smith. Smith looking inside with Gatlin on him to Joe Wolf. Bias playing a good goal. I'd say six feet off of him. Pass to Darty again. A good catch of the ball. Smith is open 18. Jumpers up off the front of the rim. Tap followed by Popson. Too hard off the glass. Recovered by Branch. 18-10 left to play of the ball game. Tar Heels have missed a couple of golden opportunities to pad the six-point lead. 38-32. Bias over on the left side. Hale trying to get behind Branch. Bias drives baseline. Can't make it. Tried to dunk the ball and deflected it out of bounds. Actually, he could have been called for a technical foul on he didn't hang on that rim quite long enough, but the collapsible rim did pop down as uh, Bias was hanging on it when he missed the dunk, Henry. With all the emotion and all the uh, pregame hype of this game, it, right now it almost seemed like Maryland's losing a little bit of its uh, uh, discipline in the ball game. Two times down court, they should have come away with a basket. And uh, first, a, a bad decision to try to bully his way through by Long, and then a bad decision by Bias to try to slam it in. That's cost him four points. Bias, five of 13, as Carolina controls now. Remember, Dean Smith said he wanted to keep he and Branch under 50%. Here's Hale working left of the circle. Comes now to Kenny Smith. Smith looking for Martin, who's in the ball game now, replacing Popson. Here's Hale driving into the lane, and Dick Paparo said he took steps with it. So the Heels have had three possessions now and nothing to show for it. The score holds at 38-32 to 32 in favor of Carolina. And Maryland will come right back to the attack. Gatlin, this crowd now trying to get behind the Terps, and the students are coming to their feet now. As Maryland in white working to the north goal. Has Gatlin to Branch, and he gets it right back. Carolina in the zone now. Back to Branch. Smith moves out on him. Gatlin right corner to Bias. Back to Gatlin. Gatlin trying to penetrate. Gives it to Branch. Now to Jones down the left sideline. Back to Branch. He'll drive into the lane. Drops it off to Bias. Here comes Bias. Baseline. Whipped it around. Warren Martin to Jones. His short jumper up good. 38 to 34. Tom Jones has got his second field goal of the game. He's two for three. Under 17 minutes left to play from Cole Fieldhouse, College Park, Maryland. Kenny Smith working out front. Comes now to Steve Hale. Remember, Carolina's had three possessions now without a score. Bounces it low to Wolf at the left baseline. Looking inside, Wolf comes one dribble. Now goes back to Kenny Smith, who comes cutting along the baseline to Steve Hale. Hale with the jumper from eight feet. No good. Darty had a hand on it. Couldn't control it. He and Martin helped knock each other off of it a little bit. Here's Maryland. Branch to Gatlin. Back to Branch. He drives, and there's a blocking foul on Steve Hale. Came before the shot, and so the foul on Hale will be his first. And it will be the first team foul of the second half. The Tar Heels got whistled for only three first-half fouls in this ball game. Maryland will get the ball out of bounds. 38 to 34, 16 and a half minutes to go from College Park. Terps have got a chance to get within two. The Heels had an excellent opportunity to really open up the lead on Maryland, but haven't been able to get anything down on the last four possessions. Gatlin working now to the left, comes to Jones down the left sideline, back to Gatlin, over to Branch. Branch looking to Bias, Darty tightening up on him defensively. Branch started into the top of the circle, drops it off to Gatlin. Moving right, he gets it to Branch, to Bias on the bounce pass. Back to Gatlin, Gatlin pulls up for the jumper, won't go. Tap followed by Jones, no good. Up with it, Martin blocked it, and Wolf comes down with it. Outlet to Kenny Smith, Tar Heels on the run. Three on two break to Steve Hale, driving layup is blocked by Lewis, and there's a foul on Lewis. Basket is no good. Hank Armstrong, who's working with Gerald Donahue and Dick Preparo, signals the foul on Derek Lewis. And Henry, that'll be number four on Lewis, the freshman. And it'll send Hale to the line to shoot a pair for Carolina. What are some words being exchanged down on the floor between Brad Darty and uh, Lewis? Also, Branch involved in it, and Gatlin as well. They're still talking to each other out there. And now Hank Armstrong kind of tells them to uh, get back into the ball game and leave that stuff to the playground. Well, Darty pointed over to Lewis as if to say, well, he's the guy that said something first. So Hales at the line as the red pom-poms and that uh, multicolored Maryland flag wave in that south end zone. Free throw is good. Hale now with five points in the ball game. Carolina's a team now nine of nine at the free throw line. 39-34. Hale can run the Tar Heel advantage back to six points. He's two of five from the field tonight. Misses the free throw. Carolina misses after nine in a row. 39-34. Bias with the rebound for Maryland. 15-50 left to play from College Park. Double team in the trap. Knocked away. Hale. Hale. Beautiful steal. Crossed the timeline quickly. Works across the foul line. Gives to Kenny Smith. Deep in the right corner to Martin. Drops in the layup. Got inside on Lewis. Great pass by Smith. Inside to Warren Martin. And it's 41-34. The Tar Heels spread the advantage to seven. 
Martin two of five here from the field. Gatlin works across the timeline, bounces to Bias. He turns on Martin, drives, laid it up, block Wolf. Bias comes right back with it, and it won't go down. Tap follow, however, is good by Adrian Branch. It was Branch following up inside for his eighth point on the two misses by Bias, 41 to 36. Actually, one miss, one block shot. 15-10, left to play in the ball game. Carolina by five, and the Tar Heels have the basketball at the south end of Cole Fieldhouse. Kenny Smith, jump shot, 15 feet. No good. Whistle and the fouls on Warren Martin for backing into Lynn Bias. Foul on Martin becomes number two on the Axton Virginia Junior. It'll be the second team foul against Carolina. And right now, these teams will get a break in the action as we're five minutes into the second. Haskins coming from underneath. They were getting the uh, the action that were causing the back at baskets late in the second half. And Carolina's kind of clogged that up now, doing very, a much better job on the defensive uh, side of the floor. The Tar Heels and all of us here on the Tar Heels Sports Network send along our best wishes for a happy birthday tonight to Steve Hoback of Winston-Salem. I understand he's one of the biggest Carolina fans in the Twin City. Inbound pass for Maryland. Over it goes to Gatlin now. We just went back and checked. Tar Heels missed the last free throw of the Virginia game, so it was 22 in a row before that miss a moment ago. The bias, layup no good. The block is on Warren Martin. It's his third, and he picked up two quick ones. Martin saddled with his third personal foul with 14.49 to play. And Bias, who is 5 of 15 from the field and 0 of 4 in the second half, will go to the line to shoot a pair of free throws with a score 41 to 36 in favor of Carolina. Bias is shooting 77% at the free throw line. He has been double figures in 40 three now consecutive games. He had 10 points here in the first half. He's the ACC's leading scorer with a 20 point per game average. And he's got his first free throw of the night. First in the league in scoring, fifth in field goal percentage at 54-6, fifth in free throw percentage at 77-3. He can cut the Carolina lead down to just three points if he gets his 12th point of the game. And he does. 41 to 38 with 14.49 to play. Gatlin will put some pressure on Smith in the backcourt for Maryland. Then he gets it across the timeline on the right side. Jump pass over to Darty on the left. Comes right back now to Smith. Gatlin moving out on him. Smith calling out the offense now for the Tar Heels. Moving right. Gives it up to Martin at the wing. Warren caught in the double team. In trouble. Finally puts it to the floor. Goes cross court to Kenny Smith. Smith will go baseline. Will take the jumper off the baseline. It is no good. Rebounded Darty. Darty out to Steve Hale. Almost lost the handle on it, but Hale recovered nicely. Gets it now to Kenny Smith. Smith top of the circle. 41-38 with 14-15 to play. Smith drops it to Hale. Deep in the right corner. Jump pass to Wolf, who had to leap to catch it and comes down well out on the right. Now to Kenny Smith over on the left, right in front of the Tar Heel bench as he's coming off the wing now in his dribble. Gives it to Wolf. Wolf looking inside for Darty. Drops it to Martin. Maryland fronting Darty with uh, Derek Lewis. Pass inside to Hale and Branch has to foul. And Hale got free from the Maryland defense inside. Was hit with a perfect pass. Couldn't get the reverse layup to go down. And Adrian Branch commits his second personal foul. That'll be the fourth team foul against the Terrapins. And Steve Hale, the league's best free throw shooter, who just... Uh, Broke the streak a moment ago at 22 in a row. Goes to the line. We talked a lot this year about the great court awareness of Warren Martin for a big man. He threw a dangerous pass that time. Somehow he's able to thread the needle to get the ball to Steve Hale, who was wide open for the shot. Branch hacked him, though, and he missed the shot, but he got the first free throw. Free throw is good, so it's 42 to 38. There are five team fouls for Maryland and uh, three for Carolina. I may have said uh, four a moment ago. Only guy in trouble is Lewis. Long has come in now to replace him. Hale makes the next free throw, and it is 43 to 38. And the ball is stolen by Carolina in the backcourt. Picked off by Wolf to Smith to Wolf. Jump shot right corner would not go down. Hale's got the rebound. Branch had a hand on him. Carolina bench wanted a foul, but none coming. And now the bench stands to a man. At least all the players do, and applauds the team's effort to get that ball back. Hale looking inside to Martin to Smith over on the right wing. Back to Hale. Gives it to Joe Wolf. Joe comes right back to Smith with it. Now to Hale, deep in the right corner. 13 and a half minutes to play. Shot clocks at 25 seconds. Hale drops it off to Smith. Top of the circle coming right. To Wolf now right of the circle. Drops it now to Hale. Hale goes inside to Darty. Got free. Laid it up. Wouldn't go. Tap follow is good by Brad Darty. So Darty misses his first shot of the night, but he follows up and scores on the tap. 45 to 38 in favor of Carolina. Gatlin across the timeline to Branch, down deep in the left corner, it goes to Jones. Long at the low post, calling for the ball. He's at the left of the lane now, Bias is on the right. Timeout's been whistled by Maryland. So there's timeout on the floor with 13.04 to play in this basketball game with a score, 
Carolina 45, Maryland 38. The Terrapins in the second half, and that's how Carolina's kind of jumped out of this uh, seven-point lead. For Brad Darty, just a super game. He's six of eight from the floor. Kenny Smith is two of seven. Steve Hale, two of five. Joe Wolf, two of six. Warren Martin, two of five. So, Woody, nobody really uh, burning it up except Brad Darty from the floor tonight. Well, one of the differences in Joe Wolf's game tonight, Henry, is the jump shots out of the corner going from uh, that were going for Joe Wolf on last Thursday night against Virginia, not going tonight. Interesting enough, uh, Steve uh, Wetland, our statistician, has just pointed out that Steve Hale has got six rebounds from his guard position tonight. Steve came into the game averaging three and a half rebounds per contest, and he gets in there and mixes it up with the big guys pretty well. Maryland with the basketball. Carolina back in the zone now. Over it goes to Jones on the right side from Gatlin. Back out front to Gatlin. Gatlin moving top of the circle. Lefty crouched in front of his bench watching. He's hoping to get his 500th coaching victory tonight. Mr. his alma mater, Duke, on Saturday. Gatlin to Branch. Branch penetrating. Has to dump it off to Jones. Here's Jones' shot, and it's good. 45 to 40. Tom Jones gets his third field goal of the game. He's three of five tonight. Carolina's lead is five as Kenny Smith crosses the timeline of the Tar Heels, who've been extremely patient tonight, would certainly like to use as much of the shot clock as possible. Smith, right wing, controls from Hale now. Gives it now to Darty, who breaks out front against Lewis. Over it goes to Hale. Hale looking inside for Wolf. Comes to Smith. Jump shot, 18 feet. No good. They battle inside. There's a whistle and a foul called on Brad Darty of the Tar Heels. Bias says something to Brad Darty, and Brad hangs back to talk with him a little bit. And Bias reaches out. That's the third team foul against the Tar Heels. 1207 left to play in the first half. Bias has been in a couple of scuffles already this year. Last Saturday afternoon down at Duke, you might have seen that on television. He and Danny Mahar into a bit of a uh, fisticuff. So well, Bias the game before that, Henry, he... That's right. First game at Winston. He's been known to mix it up a bit. But Brad Darty's not going to back down from him. You can believe that. Gatlin set from well out off the front of the rim. No good. Branch has got the rebound in the lane. 45 to 40 with 11.40 to go. Maryland with a chance now to get back within three. Terps have been down, I believe, by as many as seven here in the second half after leading by 10 in the first half. Bias at the right wing. In the corner it goes to Gatlin. The Grimesland North Carolina product comes out of the corner. Up to the wing to Branch. Now right back to Gatlin looking inside. Darty playing behind Bias. Jump shot taken. It's good and he's fouled. Warren Martin gets his fourth. Adrian Branch on the jump shot. Martin falls into it. It's foul number four on Martin. Branch gets Maryland to within three and could get it to two at 45 to 42. And Curtis Hunter will get back in the ball game. Adrian Branch is 10th point of the ball game. Well, Adrian Branch is very quick. He's got that herky-jerky motion. It's very difficult to know what he's going to do with the ball, whether he's going to put it on the floor or shoot it or pass it. And at that time, he just ran a real quick release. And apparently Warren Martin made the decision he had a chance to block that shot. And he just swatted at it and fell into Adrian Branch. And as Branch can do, boy, I tell you, it just went right through the hoop. He can. He looks like he's off balance sometimes, but he, he gets the points on the board. 45 to 43 as Branch converts the three-point play. Maryland back within two. So the Terps are on the run now. The crowd senses it and comes to its feet as one. Curtis Hunter in now for Warren Martin. Gets the pass to the left wing. Back out front to Hale. Hale holding high. Drops it to Darty now right of the circle. He gives it right back to Kenny Smith. Tar Heels need to get something going offensively now. Hale over on the left side to Joe Wolf. Wolf on the fake call for the travel. The Tar Heels have been sitting at the 45-point mark after holding a seven-point lead, 45 to 38, for better almost two and a half minutes now as Maryland has run off. Henry, five unanswered points, and the Terps have a chance to tie right now. Nine, five turnovers. Carolina with nine, Maryland five. Gatlin left of the circle, drops it to Jones. Now it comes to Branch. Branch holds high, wanted to drive on Hale, wouldn't go through. Now pushes it away to Gatlin on the left side. Ten and a half minutes left to play from Cole Fieldhouse at College Park. Heels have won two of the last three here, eight out of ten. Branch against Hale, bounces low, ball knocked loose. To the floor goes Curtis Hunter, and Hank Armstrong says the foul is on Hunter, and it'll be his third with 10-26 remaining to be played in the ballgame, and that's uh, sixth. 
team foul of the second half against Carolina. Heels were charged with only three, Henry, in the first half. Curtis Hunter had a good chance to make a steal on that, but he uh, had his other arm draped around the player, so he got called for the foul, and now momentum is certainly in Maryland's court. Pass over to Jones. Smith tried for the steal, couldn't make it. Branch the tie, can't do it. Hale comes down with his seventh rebound of the ball game. 45-43, Carolina. Hale pushes it away to Hunter. Looked inside to Wolf, drives in the lane, lost the ball, but Darty recovered. Looked like to me he lost it. He may have thrown a bounce pass. Here's Hale working the baseline. Drops it to Darty. Tried to duck it, knocked out of bounds, and the foul has been called on Derek Lewis of Maryland. Hold it. Gerald Donahue calling the foul. We'll have to wait and see. Yes, it is on Lewis, and it's his fifth. Lewis is fouled out of the ball game. Well, the reason for the, the booze, I think, more than the foul on Lewis was the fact that Steve Hale and getting that pass over to Brad Darty crashed into Lynn Bias, who had set a pick down underneath or set uh, what he thought was a good well, defensive play. Henry, and apparently we're off officially because Lewis has got only four. Darty's free throw. Good. 46 to 43. Apparently we had given Lewis somebody else's foul. Well, it, yeah, in the first half we had him with only uh, one personal foul. I mean, we had him with two personal fouls, and uh, he was shown as having one. So apparently uh, the foul that uh, Lewis, we charged Lewis with, was to somebody else. So he's got four. He's gone out now, and Long is back in. Darty ready on the next free throw, and it's good. 47-43. to 43. Carolina's lead is four. Brad Darty now with... Uh, 19 points in the ball game as Branch gets it front court for Maryland. Comes to the hash mark on the right sideline. Back out front now to Gatlin with less than 10 minutes to go in the contest. Gatlin will move to the left against Kenny Smith. Carolina man to man. Looking inside to Bias. Can't get it to him. Wolf is fronting uh, Long. They pass it to Long and he got behind Wolf and caught the pass and made the slam dunk for his sixth point. 47 to 45, Maryland again within two. Carolina with the ball. Wolf holding it high at the right wing. Kenny Smith coming to the top of the circle. Takes the pass. Now comes to Curtis Hunter. Hunter will drive baseline, lays it up, and it's good. Darty actually at the low post wound up setting a great pick for Curtis Hunter as he went to the screen, went to the baseline and to the basket for a 49-45 lead. Hunter's first field goal. He's one of three in the ball game. 9-10 to play as Branch handles it on the right wing, gets it now to Gatlin. Lefty Drizel up instructing his offense now. He wants Bias to come down to the baseline. Gatlin, deep pass, right corner to Jones. Jones look low to Bias, back to Branch. Branch with a size advantage, working against Steve Hale to Jones. Back to Branch it comes. Branch whips it over to Gatlin. Now the high lob to Bias, caught it behind Wolf for the dunk. Wolf fouls it. 49-47. to 47. Bias on the alley-oop. Gets his 14th point of the game. That's his first field goal of the second half. And Joe Wolf picks up his first foul. It'll be the seventh team foul against Maryland. Bias has got a chance for the three-point play and an opportunity to pull the Terps within one. Boy, give Keith Gatlin all the credit in the world for getting a great pass in there to Lenny Bias. It actually looked like Joe Wolf was playing pretty good defense on Bias. He faked to the outside, came back in. Joe was with him, but uh, the pass was just right on the money. If that pass had been anywhere other than right where it was, I don't believe Bias would have been able to put that one through. So Keith Gatlin got it to him where he needed it. Bias 6 of 16. That was his first field goal in five attempts in the second half with the free throw. Good. 49 to 48. Maryland has trimmed Carolina's seven-point lead down to just one. 15 points for Lynn Bias. Smith spinning away from Gatlin across the timeline. Carolina trail by 10 in the first half. Came back to lead at intermission. Tar Heels have been up by seven here in the second half. Now hold on to a very slim one-point advantage. Maryland with the momentum and the crowd right now. Hale on the right wing. Comes to Wolf. Over to Curtis Hunter. Hunter drives into the lane. Put it up. Block. Recovered by Gatlin. Here comes Gatlin down floor. Bias on the block. Gatlin for the lead, and it's good. 50 to 49. Keith Gatlin, that's only his second field goal of the ball game. Smith away to Wolf at the right wing. Eight minutes to play at College Park. Hale in the right corner, looking to Smith. Gives it to him. Smith looking inside, faking Gatlin, won't take the shot. Finally puts the ball to the floor on the dribble. Backing to the midcourt area. Now pushes it away to Steve Hale. Hale with Jeff Atkins of Martinsville is back in the ballgame for Maryland on him defensively. 
to Hunter down the left sideline. Comes now to Smith. Shot clocked at 10. Smith outside. Jumper went in. Popped out. Gatlin with a rebound for Maryland. Terps with the lead by one, 50 to 49. Seven and a half minutes to play in the ball game. Gatlin works. The second time out. This crowd comes to its feet. The Maryland State flag is being waved. The Terps are ahead by one. Time out on the floor, 7.23. The Rainers, they don't get any more hostile than what we got right now at Cole Fieldhouse, 50 to 49. Kind of an interesting timeout call by Lefty Duzell, his second. The momentum really going his way. Lefty chose to take a timeout and kind of calm things down a bit. Kenny Smith, while Carolina had been patient for a long time, Kenny uh, took a jumper a minute ago. He's only two of nine for the night. He's missed his last six shots. Before uh, Keith Gatlin just hit that uh, shot that put Maryland ahead at 50-49, to 49. he missed his last five, so momentum definitely back in the court of the Terrapins right now, Woody. Henry Carolina has had one field goal, two free throws, but only one field goal in the last six minutes of play, and Maryland has come from seven down to take a one-point lead. Gatlin out front, trying to now to increase the Maryland lead. Over to Atkins, he's open from the right. Wouldn't go down. Rebound by Brad Darty. Outlet to Kenny Smith. Smith across the timeline now, working down on the right. Back to Brad Darty. Darty one step, drops it to Martin, caught it, laid it up. Good. 51 to 49. Carolina retakes the lead on Martin's third field goal of the night. 6.57 left to play. Martin three of six in the ball game right now. 51 to 50. Carolina on top. May have said the wrong score a moment ago. If so, it was my mistake. Gatlin over to Atkins, or maybe the clock had not been changed when I snuck a look at it. Maryland controlling outside against the Tar Heel zone. Dean Smith up talking to his defense now. Bounce long to Atkins, over to Gatlin. Back it comes to Atkins. Had a notion, didn't take it. Just right of the circle. Moving back out front is Branch. Drops it to Gatlin. Shot clocks at nine. Here's Branch from 22 feet. No good. Rebounded Steve Hale. 51-50, Carolina with the lead, and 6-15 left to play in the ball game. Denny Smith across the timeline. Hits Darty at the left wing. Looks inside, comes to Smith, top of the circle. Wanted to go to Martin, couldn't, gets it to Hale. Now to Martin, knocked away by Bias into the hands of Gatlin. Gatlin going down, Smith and Hale back. He drops to Atkins. Atkins on the drive, and a block is called on Steve Hale. Block on Hale is his second personal foul. Atkins will go to the line now to shoot one and one. Steve Hale with eight rebounds in the basketball game. You remember in the first half, Carolina out-rebounded Maryland 20 to nine. Here in the second half, things have been reversed a little bit. Maryland now out-rebounding Carolina 11 to seven. That's the second half stats on the boards. Atkins has shoot 69% at the line. Shows the stripe now for Maryland with 5.58 to play. Doesn't go down. Knocked outside. Recovered Kenny Smith. 51-50 in favor of Carolina. 5.50 to go as Smith walks it through the right red center jump circle. Heels moving to the south goal here in the second half. Hale coming now to Martin. Looking inside. Holding high over his head to Smith now on the right. Kenny through the top of the circle. Drops it to Steve Hale. High lob to Brad Darty. Good catch. Whistle foul on Maryland. And Terry Long wants an elbow push on uh, Brad Darty call, but he won't get it. Instead, the foul's going to be on Terry Long, and it will be his third. And it's the seventh team foul against Maryland, and Brad Darty will go to the line to shoot one and one. Woody, I, I really believe that Maryland, the momentum has gone out since that timeout at the 7.23 mark. I don't understand really why Lefty would call timeout at that point. This place was rocking. His team had really come back from an eight-point deficit. And uh, since that time, Carolina's come down court a couple of times, and just by maybe poor shot selection, hasn't been able to, to, to retake the, uh, the commanding lead that they had and the commanding control of the uh, mo uh, momentum in the ball game. But that timeout right now looming very large is uh, the loss of momentum for Maryland. Atkins is out, and Lewis is back in. Maryland playing its version now. Our Jones, rather, is in. Maryland playing its version of the big lineup with uh, Long, Jones, and Bias across the front. Branch at the big guard and Gatlin at the point. Darty made his first free throw. He's now got 20 points in this ball game. He is 8 of 8 at the free throw line. Make him 9 of 9, and it's 53-50 in favor of the Tar Heels. Inbound, knocked away by Hale, recovered Kenny Smith. Off it comes to Curtis Hunter. Hunter back out front to Smith. For a second time tonight, Carolina has stolen Maryland's inbound pass in the backcourt. Smith drops it away to Hale. Goes low to Martin. Drops it right back to Hunter. 
Hunter off to Smith on the right side. The Hale foul line, jump shot, 17, count it. 55 to 50, Steve Hale knocks in his third field goal of the game. He's got nine points in the contest. Carolina back in front by five. The Tar Heels have now run off six unanswered points after Maryland had led at 50 to 49. Gatlin in the corner to Jones. Jones took a look at the low post, gives it back to Gatlin. Now comes to Branch, Terps and White moving to the north goal. The long. Bias has got Martin playing behind him as he patrols the lane. Off to Jones. They play well back off Jones. Crowd hollowing shoot. Now it's to Gatlin. Shot clocks at 16 seconds, 15, running down. Here's Gatlin backing in against Hale. Turning, he'll lean in, put it up off the glass. Good. 55 to 52. Gatlin on a lean in for his sixth point of the ball game. Four and a half minutes left to play as Kenny Smith crosses the timeline. He drops it to Darty at the left wing, comes to Martin. Martin working now to the right of the circle against Bias. Breaks his dribble, got to get rid of it. Gets it finally to Kenny Smith, caught it, laid it up, and he traveled. He caught it, shuffled his feet a little bit as he was trying to gain control of it. It was off his right elbow, and as he did, he walked with it. So with 4.21 to play, Maryland's got a chance to get back within one. Terry Long has gone out. Let's see, Derek Lewis has come back in. Lewis is playing with four personal fouls. What happened in the first half, we gave Lewis a foul when we thought he'd been called with one, and actually it was a violation rather than a foul. 55 to 52. Carolina with a three-point lead. Maryland's got the basketball. Bias dropping to Gatlin on the left wing. Gatlin working top of the circle now. Carolina man-to-man. -man. Lefty looking at the clock, sitting back down on the Maryland bench. Jump pass over to Gatlin, right back to Jones. Jump shot, 17, got it. 55 to 54, Tom Jones with 10. He came in with but a 7.6 scoring average. And he's four of six in tonight's game. He scored only seven points in the first meeting between these two teams in addition to getting five rebounds. 55-54, the Carolina lead. Bounced inside to Darty. Turn, shot, no good. Rebound captured by Lewis for Maryland. Carolina bench wanted a foul. None coming from the whistle of Gerald Donahue. 55-54, Maryland can retake the lead. Gatlin away to Branch. Branch on the left side. Drops it off now to Gatlin in the midcourt area. Gatlin on the left-hand dribble, working left to the circle. Goes to Jones, he's been hot. Back to Gatlin. Gatlin looking to Bias. Bias spinning, jump shot off the glass, short. Tapped around, controlled by Hale. It was in and out of the hands of Lewis and Branch for Maryland, and Hale came up with it. Smith now moving down the left sideline. To Wolf in the corner, right back to Smith. Kenny will put the ball to the floor on the dribble with less than three minutes to play. Nine rebounds for Steve Hale. Drop to Warren Martin. Over it goes to Joe Wolf. Wolf covered up by Jones, comes back out front to Smith. Right side, they swing it to Hale. Wolf roaming the baseline. Hale drives the lane, scoops it up, it's good, and he's fouled. Lynn Bias commits the personal foul. It's his third. It's 57 to 54, and Hale gets his 11th point of the game and will go to the line with a chance for the three-point play and his 12th of the contest. Steve looked at both sides. He looked down on the baseline. There wasn't anybody open. He looked to the other side of the court. Nobody open. He started his move to the middle of the court. A uh, little opening uh, kind of made itself available, and he made a nice little jump hook in the lane and got the foul. Just a beautiful play by Steve Hale, and boy, was it needed right now. The Jinx Oklahoma Jr. with 114 assists to his credit has now got 13 points, and if you're wondering about his stats, how about four of seven from the field, four of five at the line, and nine rebounds. Timeout, 2.40 to play, and what timeout on the floor? The score, Carolina 58. Carolina with a four-point lead if you were with us at halftime, and I hope you were. You heard Jim Hefner interviewing Coach Dave Lebo, who's the dad of uh, Jeff Lebo from Carlisle, Pennsylvania, the highly touted recruit that's coming to Carolina next year, and he used the term when asked to describe his son, the blue-collar worker. That's kind of the way uh, Steve Hale appears right now. He's got nine rebounds in this game, and he's just made some super smart moves, like the last one where he drove into the lane and got fouled and the basket for a three-point uh, play to put Carolina back up by four points. He's playing very good basketball right now for the Tar Heels. Steve wants to be an orthopedic surgeon. He's got an older brother at MIT who's just been accepted into the doctorate program in mechanical engineering. Few smarts running that Jinx Oklahoma family. <laughs> Off the floor and on. 58-54. Steve also with an older sister in his family. Maryland controlling the ball. Derek Lewis handles it on the left side to Branch, now to Gatlin. Gatlin in one step against Hale. Now it comes back to Jones. He drives, shot was partially deflected, went out of bounds, it'll belong to Carolina. Last touch by Lynn Bias going out. Maryland will put pressure on now in the backcourt. You remember the Tar Heels had a little trouble handling the press uh, 
last Thursday against Virginia. Inbounds, kicked by Bias. It'll still belong to Carolina. Darty will go down now to make the inbounds pass. 58-54, 2.21 left to play. Paparo saying something to Bias about the room he can give Darty. Into Kenny Smith comes to Steve Hale. Hale will get it across the timeline as Branch gives chase. He weaves through traffic, comes all the way to the hash mark on the right. Goes to Joe Wolf. Wolf holding high, almost in the right corner. Now puts it to the floor, being pressured quite a bit. Will drop it off to Kenny Smith. Dean Smith telling his team now to settle down, use as much of the shot clock as possible. Under two minutes to go right now. Joe Wolf drops it to Steve Hale. 58-54, Carolina. Hale moving down inside the uh, hash mark on the right. Now picks up his dribble, gives it to Kenny Smith, who works against Gatlin. Shot clock's at 15 and running down. Game clock's at 148. Smith pulls up, gives it to Hale. He drives baseline from behind the glass. Block, knocked out of bounds by Adrian Brandt. Good call by Hank Armstrong, although the Maryland fans vehemently disagree. And Lefty Drizel never moved off the Maryland bench on that call. And I think they're going to reset the shot clock now to 45. No, wait a minute. I think that no. Paparo is saying put five seconds on the shot clock. It was showing four, but he, he motioned to put five seconds back on. That's what they've done. Yes, on this inbound play, there will be five seconds rather than it being completely reset. So Carolina's got to get it in, get the shot off, and Dean Smith wants timeout. So the Tar Heels use their first timeout, 142 to play, and with timeout on the floor, the score, Carolina 58, Maryland 54. You know, it's not the size of the dealership. It's the size of the markup of the car or truck you're looking at that matters. Now, Stotts Ford's not the largest dealer in the Carolinas, and they don't claim to be. From an eight-point deficit to the Tar Heels, taking the lead at 50-49. to 49. Lefty Drizel took a timeout. Since that time, Carolina has come on to score 9-4. to four. I think Lefty made a tactical mistake because the momentum has left him since that timeout. Buzz Peterson's back in the ball game now for Carolina. So it's Smith, Peterson, Wolf, Darty, and Hale now for the Heels. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Kenny Smith to get it in. Deflected by Maryland. It'll still belong to Carolina. Jones had a hand on it. Again, another five seconds will be on the shot clock. Game clock didn't move either, Henry. It's got 142 still on it. For the game, Carolina shooting 44%. Same thing for Maryland, 44% for both teams. Hale to get the ball inbounds now. Got to hurry with it. Gets it into Joe Wolf. Right back it comes to Hale. Driving, throws up a prayer, and a whistle in the fouls on Brad Darty. Darty called for the foul, backing in on the rebound attempt. And for Darty, that will be his second of the ball game. But it will send Maryland to the line now with an opportunity to do something Carolina doesn't want Maryland to do. And that's to get points without using any time off the clock. 138 remaining, 58 to 54. Adrian Branch is to the line. He is one of one tonight. He has 11 points in the ball game. Free throws tonight as far as Maryland is concerned. In the first half, the Terps got only uh, one opportunity at the foul line. Here's Branch's free throw. It's no good. Knocked around, and Hale comes away with it for the Tar Heels. In trouble. Got it to Smith. Ten rebounds for Steve Hale in tonight's ball game. Shades of the game in Chapel Hill when Branch couldn't make the free throws. 1.30 left to play, and the Tar Heels have gone to four quarters now. The shot clock is still on. Jump pass back to Kenny Smith in the midcourt area against Gatlin. Pushes it down to Wolf. Now back to Hale. Game clock's down to 115. Comes to Smith. Back to Hale. Lefty Drizel up directing his defense. Dean Smith directing his offense. Jump pass down to Brad Darty. Back to Kenny Smith. Shot clock is down to 15 seconds to Hale. He took a quick look at that shot clock to Joe Wolf in the corner. Back to Buzz Peterson. Pushes it to Brad Darty. Over to Hale. Drives. Laid it up. It won't go. Maryland's got the rebound. Lewis away to Adrian Branch. Grant coming front court, 58-54 with 50 seconds to play. Carolina with a four-point lead. Off to Gatlin, jump shot well out, off the front of the rim. Hale with an 11th rebound. To Kenny Smith will get the dunk for a six-point lead. A two-handed stuff by Kenny Smith. And that may be the icing on the cake. 39 seconds remaining to be played. Dean Smith will shuffle Warren Martin back into the lineup as Buzz Peterson goes out, and that's for defensive purposes. One of the coaches, he's brought a lot of innovations to the game, but he's the first coach, Henry, I ever saw platoon offensively and defensively in the late stages of a ball game. 60 to 54, 40 seconds, hands up. Branch drives baseline, in traffic, shot, no good. Knocked around, tapped outside, controlled by Jones, shots up, no good. They battle for it, knocked outside, here comes Hale with it. 
Hale coming down, bounces it away to Smith. Smith won't go through. He'll come back out with 23 seconds remaining. Smith spinning away at the foul line. Fans heading for the exit. It's over. Lefty's been denied a second time at getting his 500th win. He'll have to try again at Clemson on Sunday afternoon. And for a uh, fourth straight time, Carolina will beat Maryland. And for a third time out of the last four, it will be in Cole Fieldhouse ten times out of the last 11. And Lefty Drizel is now 5-11 and 11 on his own home floor against Dean Smith. Free throw by Warren Martin is no good. Tapped out, Darty to Martin. Off to Wolf. Great tap out, 15 seconds remaining. Smith to Hale. We'll go to the dressing room right after the game. He'll spread it out in four quarters with seven, six, five. Over to Darty. Stolen Bias. Bias down the sideline. Two, one. He won't get the shot off. The horn win. It won't count. It won't count. And the Tar Heels have moved into sole possession of second place in the Atlantic Coast Conference. And for yet a second straight Carolina-Maryland game, Adrian Branch missed the front end of a crucial one-and-one one in the late stages, and the Tar Heels come away with victory number 19, 19-5 and five overall, 6-3 and three in the ACC. The Terps are 19-8. and eight.